right guys in this video i'm gonna talk in more detail about the repeat until block and the forever block all right so let's get started uh let me get these out of the way now what i have done is i've set up my project to where i have a green uh a green background with a blue sort of river running through it then i have my boat sprite and my tree sprites okay and so inside the tree i don't i don't have any code it is not needed but if you go over to the sailboat what I have right now is uh, I have a when green flag clicked, repeat until touching tree one, uh, move three steps. So basically we're gonna move, the boat is gonna move three steps until it gets to the tree. Okay, so let's have a look. Here we go. And there you go. You can see the boat is moving. And as soon as it gets to the tree, it stops, right? Okay. All right, so now let's do this. Let's add one more thing. Uh, so when the boat gets to the tree, okay, we wanna make a sound and uh, let's have the boat say something okay so um so let's do this let's grab so i have some code blocks right here um so we're gonna we're gonna play a sound chomp until done and i will say um yay i made it okay all right now let's take a look at how this works so if i click on the green flag there he goes our boat is moving and there you go so it made the sound and it says yeah i made it for two seconds okay so now if you will notice that this this code right here okay um this code right here this code does not run until we are out of the loop okay see repeat until so we're gonna we're gonna stay inside this loop and once we're done once we once this condition becomes true okay once we get to the tree then we then this loop stops running okay we break out of this loop and then we go straight to here okay that's where that's when our code continues to run. Okay, this code right here, this code will not run until this loop stops running. Okay, and so what what makes the loop stop running? Once it gets to the tree. Okay, when the boat gets to the tree, it, this loop loop stops running, and then we run this code right here. Play chomp, and then this one. Okay, all right. So now let's let's do one more thing here. So I have here when the green flag clicked. I will forever loop, and so what we're doing is we're we're just adding some uh, color effect to the boat. Okay, so now if I run this code, okay, you'll see the boat. You know, it kind of has a nice color effect to it, wow. and it gets to the end, says, "Yeah, I made it." But you can see the boat is still blinking, right? This code is still running. Okay, well, what if we we don't want this to run anymore? Once we get to the tree, we want to stop everything, right? So what we can do. Is we can grab the stop all and we'll put it right here okay so remember this code right here is not going to run until we are out of this loop okay so while we're in this loop this will keep running this is gonna keep running and then once we're out of the loop all this will happen okay so let's take a look at how this works I'm gonna click the green flag here goes our boat and boom say yeah I made it and then the boat stopped bleeding, right? And our code also stopped, okay? Okay, so remember that, okay? Even though we have all this code right here, right? We have all this code. It sits and waits until the repeat, until block is done running, okay? Once this is done running, that's when this code will run, okay? So keep that in mind. That's how a repeat until works. All right, so now let's see a similar example using uh, the forever loop, okay? Uh, so let's do, uh, let's do this, let's get, pull this down. Uh, let's grab a forever, put this here. Now we're gonna have move three steps. So we're now we're forever loop, move the boat this time, okay? And let's put this on the side for a second. Now let's grab another one green flag clicked and let's gla grab a uh, if then. And so what we wanna do is, okay, if, Touching the tree, right? We want to play the sound, and we want to, you know, play the sound, say the message, and stop all, right? Okay. I'm gonna have a forever loop move the boat this time. All right. So now let me run this code. Okay. There goes the boat, and all right, it's at the tree. But look what happened. It just passed right along, right? And you can see the code is still running, right? It's highlighted. It's still running. It's still trying to move. It's still blinking 
uh, but it never did this. It never played the sound. It never gave us a message, and it never, did, you know, stopped anything. Right. So why is there code still running? Okay. First, let me stop this. Okay. So this is a common mistake that a lot of beginners make. They create a condition like this. You know, if you know, for example, touching tree, then do all this. Um, so to us, you know, as humans, it makes sense, right? Oh, hey, if you get to the tree, go out and do all this. The computer is only going to do this one time. You know, when you click the green flag, it's going to do the check, right? And that is done. It, it's done checking, okay? What we need to do is we need to make the computer keep checking this over and over and over, okay? So let's say, uh, for example, let's say I start here where the boat is already touching the tree. Now, if I click on the green flag, okay, it'll move, it makes the sound, and it stops, right? Our code stopped because the boat was already touching the tree. But it's... It was over here, it's not touching the tree, the computer is going to check it one time and it's done checking. So in order to make it keep checking over and over, we need to put this inside a forever loop, okay? We need to put it inside a loop. Now it'll keep checking over and over and over, okay? So now let's run the code. And you will see, all right, so we go and it says, yeah, I made it and boom, it stopped, right? All of our code stopped running, okay? So that's very important, okay? If you're doing any kind of a check, you need your game to keep checking over and over, you have to put it inside a loop, okay? Otherwise, it will not work, all right? All right, guys, that's it for this video. Till next time, see ya, bye-bye.